it was an unlikely journey. You know, my mum was born on Stapleton Road, you know, in poverty, left school at 14, whenever I was, became a hairdresser, you know. My dad arrived here as a 12-year-old from Jamaica, you know, and my family's always, they certainly never touched on being middle class. And suddenly I'm there, standing there, running for mayor. We are going to be a city that stands together and forges a future of hope, not a future of hate. And it's important that we live the future and that we are an example of the future that we want Bristol to be as we go into our future years. In my opinion, we're just less worse than the Tories. And, 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 and I'm sick of that, mate. I'm sick of out for asking for like scraps from the table. You've got money at all costs. Fuck everybody else. How has power been distributed in the past? Who gets power? Who gets to shape the world and make decisions? Who takes political leadership? It's not people from my background. So there's, your mo there's my motivation, <laughs> you know, right there. Yeah, 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 Marvin, in the middle, at the back, please. Because it's, it's, it's a big thing, but you, you, it's not all about Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're running at neck and neck with the Tories at the moment, and really every vote counts. I think that one of the iconic stories of Martin Luther King, for me, is him sitting at his kitchen table just saying, I can't do this. It's beyond me. It's too big for me. Enjoy. Sleep well. Something happened to him that night in which he said, in the face of my doubts and in the face of my insecurities uh, and my awareness of my lack of perfection, I will nevertheless, you know, press on. And I think that's one of the positions I, f I find myself in. Yeah.